This hour of the Mike Gallagher Show starts right now on Salem News Channel. With a huge increase of Republicans registering to vote in Florida, Florida may no longer be a swing state, according to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. I'm Joey Hudson, in for Mike Gallagher, in a special edition of the Mike Gallagher Show. This is your source for breaking news and what to make of it all. This is the Mike Gallagher Show. I wouldn't go out there and extol the miracle of the Biden economy. It just drives me crazy when he does that. President Trump leading or statistically tied with President Biden in all of the seven most competitive battleground states. They can't feel good about that. No, you certainly feel nervous about that. This is a media that, ironically, they are all anti-Semitic now, and that's the world we live in. And now in the relieffactor.com studios, sitting in for Mike today, here's Joey Hudson. Yes, Joey Hudson in for Mike today as he travels. He's in Japan. We're going to tell you a little later this hour how you can visit with Mike or or at least join him and and experience some of the things that he is seeing while traveling in Japan this week. We'll give you that information in just a moment. A lot to cover in this hour. The Israeli Defense Forces announced a full withdrawal of ground forces from the southern Gaza region yesterday yesterday leaving just a small uh, force of soldiers there to maintain operations. Meanwhile, John Kirby, White House Security Communications Advisor, said there's a growing frustration by the Biden administration of how Israel is responding to the attacks from Gaza. We're going to jump into that in just a moment. And last night, President Donald Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee, took to his social media platform to say that he would be issuing a statement on abortion and abortion rights. Well, he did this morning. We have that video for you where basically Donald Trump said that this is an issue that should be left to the states to decide. We'll jump into that. And your phone calls and comments are welcome. Your comments are welcome on the My Pillow text line, 800-655-6453. Your phone calls are welcome. Hope you'll join the conversation on this Monday edition of the Mike Gallagher Show, 800-655-MIKE. Choose option one if you'd like to talk. We'll put you in queue. We'll talk as time permits. Option two, leave a quick voice message. And I'd love for you to stay in touch with me as well. Just to go to my website, joeyhudson.com. Click connect with Joey. Subscribe to my daily podcast, Just the Truth. Send me an email, joey at joeyhudson.com. So John Kirby yesterday said that there's a growing frustration with uh, within the Biden administration over the way the Israeli military is conducting wartime operations. He was talking about this in an interview with ABC's This Week. The co-anchor, Martha Raddatz, laid out a timeline of statements from President Biden and other cabinet officials within the Biden administration that indicate a gradual changing view on Israel's actions on Gaza. In cut number three, Kirby addresses this and how we may be going forward. So we have been increasingly frustrated. And again, that was uh, a core message that the president delivered to Prime Minister Netanyahu in their phone call this week, this past week, that if they've got to do more, they've got to make changes. Now, the prime minister assured the president that he would do that. We've seen some announcements in those early hours. That's welcome. We've got to see more. We've got to see it over time. Of course, scrutiny over Israel's military campaign was brought to the forefront last week after an Israeli airstrike unfortunately killed six uh, workers with the World Central Kitchen. Uh, These these were uh, people trying to deliver aid and meals to people who had been affected by the war. It's it's a tough issue. But as you know, Mike and I traveled to Israel just a few weeks ago. A lot of people have asked me since then, well, what's the attitude of the Israeli people? Do they want Prime Minister Netanyahu to, to... maybe back out to to agree to a ceasefire that a lot of people have been calling for? Well, I'll have to tell you, I didn't find anyone that I spoke with who does not support the prime minister, first of all. Secondly, their overall feeling is we have to complete this. We have to finish this. If, if we do this halfway, we're going to have this same conversation within 10 years, 20 years, whatever that time period is. The Israeli people are behind Benjamin Netanyahu in 
clearing the Gaza Strip of these Hamas terrorists, period. Now, yes, unfortunately, there are people who are going to suffer. There are families who are going to suffer. Unfortunately, for these World Central Kitchen aid workers who were sadly killed in a war zone, nobody wants that. The workers had just delivered, according to the report, 100 tons of food aid to a warehouse and were driving in a de-conflicted zone in armored and labeled cars when the strike hit. Biden spoke with Netanyahu days later and urged the Israeli leader, uh, this is a report again from ABC, toward a ceasefire deal that would see the release of the remaining hostages in Gaza and Paul's fighting in the war-torn enclave. Now that's the key here. I think you will agree that we need the release of the hostages. We need to keep the pressure up until we get these people back safely. Orna Neutra, she's the mother of an Israeli-American hostage, Omer Neutra. She said yesterday that bringing home the hostages should be included in every ceasefire demand. She wants this a type priority. She wants her son back, warning that the alternative in cut number four would be a death sentence for all of them. Bringing the hostages back should be the top priority. It should be a world top priority. Everyone looking for de-escalation in the region should be opening the, sen- the sentence saying, you know, release the hostages. You know, any, any sentence of any demand of ceasefire without release of hostages is a death sentence to them. And she's right. She, she's correct, isn't she? It's a death sentence, and we have to be forceful about this. And, yes, We've all watched this uh, in horror. Look, I've I've seen some of it up close and personal. When when Mike and I were able to travel to this kibbutz, which was one of the first areas attacked by Hamas, when they came across the border, and Mike and I were standing within three quarters of a mile uh, of Gaza, being able to see Gaza. And if you walk through this kibbutz, which I was able to to see, and you see the devastation that Hamas terrorists caused. And when you listen to the stories, uh, Mike and I had the opportunity to interview this young 23-year-old Noah who was at the music festival. She and her boyfriend just having a fun time listening to music, dancing. She shared with me a video that a friend of hers had taken just prior to the attack. And it's, it's very eerie because in this video... And, she, and they had no idea they were about to be attacked. In the video, you can see some of the, uh, the, the terrorists in, on, uh, in gliders above them about to descend upon them and create havoc. Fortunately for Noah, she and her boyfriend ran to a, an open field. They were able to find a tree in which they hid for eight hours, and they were rescued. Unfortunately, many others were not that lucky. Others were were killed. And in this kibbutz that we walked through, houses were burned to the ground. There was one house in particular that just really touched me because it had the photo of the of the family there. A young man, his wife, and young son looked to be about five years old. There was a coffee cup still sitting on the table where they had gotten up that day, had their coffee when this attack occurred. They were all three taken hostage. Fortunately, the mom and the child have been released. The dad is still one of the hostages being held. One of the ones that this mom is, is saying we needs to be part of the conversation with every single ceasefire discussion. Love to get your comment. Is is it time for Israel to start pulling back? 800-655-MIKE, 1-800-655-6453. That's the MyPillow text line. Is Netanyahu, does he need to stay strong and resist some of the calls from, from, from like the Biden administration and other governments around the, the world? Yes, it was sad. 
that this drone took out, killed some of these innocent people from the World Central Kitchen Organization who were only there trying to help. That shouldn't happen, but it does happen in war. It should. Uh, we shouldn't even be in this position. If Hamas had not invaded Israel to begin with, had they not slaughtered those kids at the music festival, had they not gone into uh, Sardat, which was a small city nearby, Mike and I again got to see this firsthand, where they totally destroyed uh, a, a police station there. 26 Hamas terrorists stormed this police station, killing eight police officers. We were told that over 53 law enforcement officers lost their lives that first day because for the first few hours, they were the, the first line of defense. So, yes, it's, it's, it's sad all the way around, but how do you finish it? Do you, do you pull back early? Or do you do as Benjamin Netanyahu has said he's going to do and totally eradicate the terrorists from, from Gaza? 800-655-6453. Love to get your comments. I'm Joey Hudson sitting in for Mike Gallagher. And by the way, if you want some great deals on MyPillow products, we're in the $25 extravaganza period. Just go to MyPillow.com or you can call 800-928-6035. When you use promo code Mike G. You're going to get a lot of products for 25 bucks. For example, the six-pack towel set, the most absorbent, comfortable towels you will ever own. I guarantee it. I have them. I love them. 25 bucks for the six-pack. Brand new four-pack dish towels. You guessed it. 25 bucks. Uh, some of the the my pillows. Uh, there are two-pack multi-use my pillow. 25 bucks. All of this for 25 dollars when you use promo code Mike G at my pillow dot com mypillow.com you're not going to regret ordering these products plus you're going to be supporting a great american company let's go to benjamin who is in uh, louisville kentucky welcome benjamin yes sir um i have a question um what's the end game say these uh hostages are are dead um what if they didn't what if they're not alive is there a guarantee right now that they're alive is there video of well these people uh, and no no, uh, to, to my knowledge, there's not a video. I mean, our the, the only way that we know about their health and safety is what we're being told by Hamas and, you know, consider the source. I mean, that is exactly. that is a, a, a big uh, a big problem. And, and, look, I can't imagine being a family and having a family member there not really knowing their condition. So, uh, that you know, th that is a big concern, uh, Benjamin. We don't know for sure. We just know what and Hamas is telling us. Appreciate your phone call. 800-655-MIKE, 1-800-655-6453. Let's go to Bonnie, who is in Addison, Texas. Welcome, Bonnie. Oh, hi. Welcome to the Mike Gallagher Show. Yes, thank you. Hello, how are you? I'm wonderful. Hope you are. Yes, I, I'm doing great today. I went to the dentist this morning. Well, that's that's not a great way to start the week, but glad you have it behind you. So, so tell me, what's on your mind this morning? What's what's uh, what's your concern? Well, being Jewish, and I just uh, have to find it extremely appalling that a president of the United States of America is dictating to yeah. the Israeli government how to run a war. Yeah. Um, there's something is terribly wrong when you feel that you have, I don't know, worldly powers of some sort that you could dictate to other governments on how their war should be run. Something's wrong with that, Joey. Yeah, you're you're, you're so right, Bonnie. I mean, it's just like the texter a minute ago on the My Pillow text line commented, Biden can't seem to run our country. Why does he think he can run <laughs> Israel's in, <laughs> any better? Hey Bonnie, appreciate your phone call. Hope hope you feel good and 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 everything went well with your dental appointment this morning. I hate going to the dentist. I, I went last week for a teeth cleaning and I even that just sitting there for an hour trying to hold your mouth open is just just horrible. I'm Joey Hudson in for Mike Gallagher. Eight hundred six five five six four five three is how you join today's conversation. Speech. He is arresting political opponents. He's waging unrestricted lawfare upon them. Uh, it is a disgrace, and it's not going to work. The people he's lying about right now, the people who support Donald Trump, 
They built this country. They feed this country. They fuel this country. And they defend this country. Again, unlike Joe Biden. In the ReliefFactor.com studios, here's Mike. Actually, Joey Hudson in for Mike as he is traveling in Japan. If you'd like to follow Mike's travels, uh, just text the keyword Japan to our MyPillow text line, 800-655-MIKE, 1-800-655-6453. Just include the word Japan. I'll send you a link. Uh, And while you're on our YouTube page watching some of Mike's travels, be sure and like, comment, and hit subscribe, and and hit that notification button as well so that you're notified when we post new videos to the the Mike Gallagher Show uh, YouTube channel. A lot of comments coming in on the MyPillow text line. Texter says, to your last caller's point, U.S. hasn't won a war since 1945. What gives us the right to dictate to Israel? Texter says, one of the biggest differences between Bibi and Biden his party administration is BB loves Israel. Texter says, unless Biden or Kirby can offer up legitimate strategic solutions to the casualty problem in Gaza, they can pipe down, get out of the way, and quit aiding and abetting the butchers. And there's a lot of other comments just like those on the My Pillow text line. Yours is welcome. 800 655 6453. Yesterday, the Israeli Defense Forces announced on the six month anniversary of the initial attack of uh, or, or the beginning of the war uh, between Israel and um, and the Palestinians and, and, and the attack from the Hamas terrorists, the Israeli Defense Forces announced that they were having a full withdrawal of ground forces from southern Gaza, although Prime Minister Netanyahu promised his cabinet that the war in Gaza would continue, however, arguing that there is no war more just than this one. He's getting pressure from some areas, uh, like mixed uh, signals from the Biden administration, for example, of how he should be running this. Again, I think the Israeli people are behind Benjamin Netanyahu. They want him to finish this so they don't have to live this again or live in fear of another attack. What do you think? 800-655-6453. Rena is in Dallas, Texas. Welcome, Rena. Hi. Um, were we disconnected before? Pardon? I mean, I was talking to you, and then I you disappeared. I didn't hear you okay. anymore. Yeah, well, well, you're loud and clear now. What, what's what's your point? What's well, I I want to ask him how come Biden is? I'm I'm from Israel. Yes. How come Biden is not asking for ceasefire between Russia and, and Ukraine, where there's more than 500,000 people, as, as I've heard, have yep. been killed? And Israel, we need the hostage first. Yes. Why, why are they even negotiating with Hamas? Well, Hamas is calling death for America. Right. I mean, they have right. masks everywhere where they preach death to America and death to Israel. Yeah. I just yeah. want to ask him that. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's a it's a valid question, Rena, and and it's a question that Joe Biden wants to try to avoid. Uh, it, I I don't know, you know. I sometimes try to, uh, and I appreciate your phone call, Rena. Have a wonderful Monday. I sometimes try to get into Joe Biden's head, and <laughs> and try to figure out what he's thinking, and that that's hard to do at times. Uh, again. As many of you have said on the My Pillow text line, as many of you said in emails and your phone calls today, stay out of the way. Let the Israelis decide this on their own. And as many of you have said as well, and, and as this mom whose son is, is one of the hostages, any negotiation, any talks about a ceasefire, the, the release of those hostages should be fr- front and center. Valid question, Rena. Appreciate that. Eight hundred six five five six four five three. Michael is in Indiana. <laughs> Welcome, Michael. Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you, sir? Great. Uh, What's on your mind? So I was calling in um, to uh, talk about the Israel conflict going on right now and kind of how that relates to uh, to the United States. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a Christian, and if, if you read the Bible, you know, it, it says, you know, in the biblical times when Jesus comes back, 
that the Jewish people, um, you know, must control the Holy Land. Sure. So I really do um, <clears throat> support them. Um, but with all the all the foreign conflicts going on right now, I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point where, you know, they're talking about 20 billion, 18 billion Israel, you know, 100 billion to Ukraine, and it, it, it kind of makes me feel like there's so many uh, priorities the government has as far as what's going on in other places instead of maybe using some of that money domestically. Um, so, so it's kind of a, you know, slippery slope, you know, you, you, you support your country and you want things to get better here and more investment, um, domestically. And then you also, you know, want to help out our allies and, and, um, you know, stand by them and make an example as far as staying with Israel to deter Iran. Um, but I just wanted to say, you know, I'm a little conflicted, you know, I, I am America first. I do think maybe we should, uh, you know, still support them, but not to a tune of, you know the money we've been we've been spending. We, well, we we do have to stand by Israel, uh, and and we have we can we've done that. Um, but you're right. I mean, it it is very concerning when we see uh, our tax dollars, money that you and I work very hard to pay every day, uh, Michael, and we see that going to places like Ukraine. Now you don't hear Joe Biden talking about a ceasefire for Ukraine, or at least I haven't. Have you have you heard him mention that, Michael? No, not no, not no, in the no. Line to make a piece. Yeah, yeah, and, and and you know how many billions and billions, and he wants more. I mean, he, he wants to send more to Ukraine, uh, and and so many other countries around the world that we're offering assistance to. Uh, it is very disturbing because we have many needs right here among our our own. Look, we're we're adding to our our thirty five trillion dollar debt uh, every day. And so we can't we can't afford this, but we do we do have to stand by Israel. And the thing is, we know the end to this story. If you read and study the Bible, we know how this is going to end. We have to uh, continue to support uh, our, our our friends and allies in Israel. Uh, Steve is in Illinois. Welcome, Steve. Hi, Joe. Great show. Appreciate the subject matter. Thank you, sir. Uh, you, yeah, sure. Joey, you know, you have to understand a lot of people have these great suggestions, and, and they're fantastic, and there's a number of them, a variety of them. People need to get more actively involved in the direction of the government. It can simply be achieved by corresponding with them. You could do it through an email. You could pen them paper or letter. You can actually call them up. It does not require a lot of effort. I have yeah. done this. I'm yeah. going to ex- express a uh, what one of my subject matter was at the end of this call. But anyways, it, you know, people say to me, oh, you know, oh, aren't you afraid that, uh, you, know, you know, they might not like your opinion or whatever the case should be. And the thing is, is it's not designed like that. The government, uh, you know, I, I don't pose a threat to my government, and I shouldn't be afraid to express myself to my government. People need to get actively involved and tell the government what what direction they'd like the, the, the country yeah. to go in. Yeah. There's a mathematical equation for this. Every one person that calls is like a thousand other people think like mind by that. It's important to convey that. Um, one of my last uh, calls I called to uh, the White House, I'm, I don't do it anymore. I've, I've already exhausted all of my, my requests. But I asked him, I said, I go, you know, all this money they're trying to send to Ukraine, I go, how many people, this is on the phone, I go, how many people is the president trying to kill? And they yeah. said, what? They go, what? I go, what do you, what do you think? Is our, do you think these are firecrackers? Yeah. What do, do well, you, Steve, you, you make is? a good you make a good point, Steve, and I, and I appreciate your input there. We do. Uh, yes, it's important to show up and vote on Election Day, but our job doesn't end on Election Day. Our job, that's just the beginning. The people we elect, we have to hold them accountable, and that does mean phone calls. That does mean letters. Yes, that sir. does mean emails. Show, you know, when they come, particularly members of Congress, when they come to, to district events, Show up. Be there in person. Meet them. Let them know how you feel about these things. Um, all good points, Steve. Appreciate your phone call. 800-655-6453. One line open for you. On the My Pillow text line, Texter says, The problem is Israel is taking too long to decide how to finish off Hamas. The best way to remove a Band-Aid is with one pull. The U.S. is bluffing on cutting off arms and aid to Israel. It would never pass, so Israel should just go all in, wipe out Hamas, deal with the collateral damage afterwards. They can't be held liable in international court due to the crimes first committed by Hamas. And, you know, sometimes I, I feel that way, too. Um, I, I mean, I don't know that 
Benjamin Netanyahu has pulled back. I do think that with input from Biden and other world leaders, he probably has slowed down a bit, but they got to finish the job. Or again, as many people told me when Mike and I were in Israel, if they don't finish the job, we're just going to be back doing this again. Let me take a quick moment to remind you about a, the, a, an adventure of your lifetime. I hope you'll join us. Uh, Mike Gallagher, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, other Salem local hosts around the country, and yours truly, my wife Peg and I, will be on the Patriots Alaska cruise this summer. We leave Seattle June 29th, goes through July the 6th. Uh, you can join Dr. Gorka, Mike Gallagher, uh, myself, others. It's going to be an incredible opportunity to engage other like-minded patriots in this epic seven-day cruise over the 4th of July. I'm told Alaska is beautiful. I've always wanted to do this. I'm so excited about the opportunity to do this. And I'd love to see you. I'd love to see your smiling face there as well. I mean, what could be better than to spend the 4th of July with Sebastian Gorka and Mike Gallagher and a few hundred other conservative minds just like yours? I hope you'll plan to join us. Call 855-565-5519, 855-565-5519. You can also register online at PatriotsAlaskaCruise.com, PatriotsAlaskaCruise.com. I want to be sure and see your smiling face on there. Be sure and introduce yourself. Let them know you heard me talking about this on the Mike Gallagher Show. PatriotsAlaskaCruise.com. I'm Joey Hudson, in for Mike Gallagher. Mike Gallagher. Hi, Joey. Paul from Tampa. I think most people, unfortunately, forget who started this war. And therefore, uh, it was against the Israelites, and they're the ones that should finish it. Thank you. Text her on the MyPillow text line. Israel has the right to defend itself, but the Palestinians do not. They also have the right to defend the lands they have been living on for generations, question mark. Not sure quite what your point uh, was there, but I do agree that Israel has the right to defend itself. Uh, the uh, This was started by Hamas and terrorist attack on October the 7th. Text her, the concerns about how Israel is handling this war is crazy. Can you imagine if during World War II there was a big blow-up because civilians were harmed while Britain and the U.S. were bombing Germany? Good point. Text her. From a biblical perspective, it is important for the U.S. to support Israel. However, supporting them where they need our help and ask for it is key, not just sticking our nose in a fight that isn't our fight. Your comments are welcome as well. 864 uh, I'm sorry, 800-655-MIKE, 800-655-6453, the Mike Pillow text line. You can also call. Choose option one if you'd like to talk. Option two, leave a quick message. We're going to go back to the phones where Steve is patiently waiting. Welcome, Steve. Yeah. Joey? Yes. What's on your mind oh. today, Steve? Yeah, I took a class in comparative religions, and I don't have, I, I don't have any faith in the government understanding what Netanyahu is going through. If you're an infidel, they don't have to keep a contract. Yeah. And that, you know, and the, the Lord also gave, in the Old Testament, Jewish people rules for fighting wars. And it isn't too pretty. And I think people need to know the facts, not just the positive and negative ideas that they think they are. They're totally different with the Jewish people and the other side. What do you think? Well, it's so easy, uh, Steve, to get caught up in the rhetoric and the headlines and the sensationalism that we hear on some of the mainstream media. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it was sad this week when, when these uh, aid workers were mistakenly killed in this drone attack. Uh, they were over there trying to feed people, trying to help people, and I get that, uh, mm -hmm. part of the World Central Kitchen. But that's also, unfortunately, part of war. And, you know, a lot of people are texting today on the MyPillow text line, hey, Israel, they, they live under this. You know, when Mike and I were over there just a few weeks back and, and speaking with a few particularly younger people, I'm, you know, people in their 20s, and they talked about how they grew up 
going to bomb shelters, hearing that alarm go off, and running to a bomb shelter. That's that's no way to, to have to live. And I, I just can't imagine living under those conditions. And, and so if they don't finish this, they're going to live under that fear uh, for for decades in the future. So I, I think that Netanyahu has finally decided we're done with this and, and we're going to finish it and we should stay out of it. We should we should support them uh, based on what we have uh, agreed to do and and stay out of it and let them be the ones that make the decisions. I agree with you. Um, they've been under persecution since their founding. Yes. I mean, they escaped the Egyptians, then the Saracens, the Romans, and the Germans fairly recently. Uh, they can't trust anybody. Yeah. And yeah. uh, that's the problem or the situation. I shouldn't say it's the problem. It's a situation. It's, right. And it's just going to come back again and again and again. They have to understand. I think they do understand the cultures that are against them. We don't. Yeah, yeah I, I, think I think you're Western, right. Uh, you know? And, and, and it's, it's easy for a progressive member of the U.S. House from New York to, uh, to, to rail against Israel. It's another thing if she lived <laughs> – uh, under the conditions that, that people in Israel live under uh, and the constant threat. Appreciate your comments, Steve. 800-655-MIKE, 1-800-655-6453. Hey, let me invite you to join Mike on his journey in Japan. Just text the keyword JAPAN to our uh, My Pillow text line. I'll send you a link, and you can watch these videos. And while you're at our YouTube video page, be sure and like, comment, and click subscribe. Also, I hope you'll join me uh, on my daily podcast, too. It's called Just the Truth. Just text my name, Joey, to 800-655-6453. Just text Joey, J-O-E-Y, to 800-655-6453. I'll send you a link there, too, because I'd love to have you join me each day. I'm back again tomorrow and Wednesday as Mike is traveling this week. Hope you'll plan to join us as we will. uh, It's going to be a busy week for sure. And I'd love to have you participate in that and be a part of the conversation here daily on the Mike Gallagher Show. Special thank you to the team, Dan, Tracy, Michael, Kristen, Eric, everybody for uh, getting, uh, helping me out as I, uh, as they pushed all the right buttons. I'm back again tomorrow as Mike's traveling. Hope you'll join us then. I'm Joey Hudson in for Mike Gallagher.